Hello, welcome to LMC and Knowledge Lyrics Music Channel of Spiritual Insight and Wisdom that I will share to you so you could take along your spiritual journey. I hope you're having a great day, good night, wherever you're at, and whenever you see this, make sure that you're prayed up and in that light of Jesus, okay? Okay, so I'm going to use my shamanic drum to open this realm and this auric field for us, protect us, and let's get started, okay? Okay. So, today the message that I have for you guys is your internal chi energy is being activated, okay? I'll say that again. Your internal chi energy is being activated. Your chi energy is a vital force forming part of any living entity. So I'm being told you are learning how to have your organs work as a team for you. I'm hearing about something about staring at the sun, looking at the sun. Um, you guys should definitely look up the benefits of sun gazing. Um, it helps break that field, um, that rose-colored glasses that we have on our naked eye. And when you sun gaze for a long, a long period of time, and it doesn't have to be um, for an hour or for even for a minute, but trying 15 to 20 seconds a day to staring at the sun, um, your eyes are going to water. It's supposed to do that. Um, it's definitely going to activate and heal your internal organs and your chi energy. So staring at the sun, sun gazing will literally unlock your chi energy. So you are able to astral project, okay? So the reason why we need to focus on our chi energy, because that's how when we balance that energy and we are aware of the energy inside of us, then we are able to have more access to astro project more easily. So um, it's like, you know, you have an, immor an immortal spiritual body, like you're aware of not just the physical form of yourself, but you are becoming more aware of your internal body and knowing that that's where your power lies within the body. So, um, yeah, let's get with these cards. You're definitely at a level of mastery or coming, becoming a master at your craft. Something that you're doing, this could be a creative um, gift. You could be a spiritual teacher, a mental, a mentor, advisor of some sort. Um, or you could just be doing something that has nothing to do with spirituality, but you put in little hints of your spiritual knowledge and wisdom while you're doing it. So you could be working at a regular job, right? But it's like when you talk to coworkers or talk to people, you speak to them about spiritual things. It's like wherever you're at right now, if you're not working for yourself, you're definitely needing to be um, sending messages um, as you work, like certain things you need to speak about, bring to the surface, because I'm hearing you awaken the people around you with the words that you say and the energy that you contain. If they um, are very open to you, um, you find people open to you and talking to you about specific things or deeper things, you definitely are healing them, awakening them, and it's actually paying off for you. The more people you awaken, the more access you have in the spiritual realm is what I'm here to tell you. Um, dream. So people are able to astral project and astral travel through their dreams, definitely. But some people are also able to astral travel while awake and not being asleep. It's just a deeper part of um, meditation, transcendental meditation is what I'm hearing. You guys need to look that up if you don't know um, what that is. Um, so with, um, I'm going to give you guys the last card and then I'll give you guys the steps on how to astro travel, okay? The last card that we have is shooting star and confirmation. So whatever you've been feeling or if you've been needing um, to come down with a, not come down, but 
you're finding an answer, you're searching for an answer to a certain question, you are going to soon get the confirmation or um, you will soon be provided with the knowledge that you seek towards a specific um, idea or um, religion or just you're searching answers, like the answers of life is what I'm hearing or the secrets of life. Um, you're going to get that. Um, and another thing with the stars and how it's like we're looking at space. Sorry, my card's kind of like jacked up, but I still love her. I still love that card, okay? But with that being said, it's like you have astral, an astral family, okay? And they are in the stars. When you look at a specific star, the brightest one, that one is for you. And that's why you're being called to go outside at nighttime or to meditate out at night. Make sure you're safe. Make sure your surroundings, you're not doing anything that's going to put you in harm's way. But definitely when you're with your spirit guides and you're tapping into them every single day, you're always going to be protected. It's the people who don't tap into their spiritual family who feel less protected or they become easily accessible to the negative energies right so with that being said um definitely be stargazing definitely sun gaze um and when you want to astral travel definitely follow these steps that i'm going to give you if you don't know how to astral travel um but if you do know how to astral travel and you've already been doing that then this is just confirmation that you're doing what you need to do right now you're activating your chi energy already um, your organs are definitely working as a team to um, bring you what you want to receive in the spiritual realm. Uh, definitely, I'm hearing fasting would be perfect for you when you want to astral travel because the foods that you may eat may block you or it just may make it harder for you to concentrate or go into that deep form of meditation. Um, I'm hearing juicing. So if you just like decided to like, okay, I'm not going to eat dead dead things today i want to astral travel today so you can drink the fruits or or eat fruits organic fruits that are literally going to activate you and help awaken you i'm hearing if you eat i'm just hearing somebody you're seeing somebody saying okay i'm gonna fast today or um i'm gonna pick a day to fast but while i'm fasting i'm going to go i'm seeing somebody go in the grocery store getting a bell pepper all the colors of the bell peppers um now i'm hearing somebody might be allergic to it okay i'm sorry but there's all different types of fruits and vegetables that are in the color range of our chakras so yellow red green purple um blue um uh orange and in, in what the heck yellow oh and white white i'm looking at the crown chakra i view the crown chakra as white but um yes and then the third eye is purple the throat as blue the heart is green the um solar is yellow the sacral is orange and the root is red so definitely now i'm seeing something about coconut oil somebody using coconut oil for their crown chakra or putting it on their third eye um definitely um getting into the zone while they're um, doing astral travel, but yeah, eating those fruits in one day, right? Eating those vegetables or um, red, any like colorful fruits and veggies. That's what you need to do and align them, have the intention for it to awaken those chakras, right? So with that being said, I'm going to give you guys the steps. Number one, set your intention and call upon your spirit guides to create an orb of protection and a picture white light surrounding you light a candle light your incense cleanse the energy cleanse your space make sure that you're in a space that's clear and it doesn't it's not full of clutter or make sure you're around things a room make sure you're in a room that's organized okay that's what's going to definitely help you um i'm here to connect with the helm of all look up the helm of all h-e-l-m-o-f-a-w-e -E. look that up write it down burn it actually welcome it into your space that is very very powerful the star of david very very powerful archangel michael call upon your ancestors ascendant masters guides god jesus before you start to do something like this okay so the next one um yeah do not astral project without intention make sure you set your intentions on what you're trying to do and why you're doing it right um just so everything can be clear and um fluid 
Number two, re relax your body. So you can also do this by laying down somewhere or sitting back, leaning back towards something because, you know, obviously you don't want to be standing up. That wouldn't make sense at all. And even just sitting up, if you're out of your body, like, you got to make sure that your body isn't going to fall on something or lean towards something. So make sure you're in a comfortable place. Um, white noise definitely helps. Um, what's it called? Um... You know when you're desensitized or something like that when it just blocks out everything else and all you hear is white noise or you can do binaural beats um hopefully i said that right binaural beats for astral travel literally doing looking up a meditation for astral travel and listening to that while you're about to astral travel right um uh to a deep meditative state because that's where you want to be number three align your points so your energy points in your body so your chakras make sure that your your chakras are aligned so you drinking that juice that's definitely going to help align it and fasting it will definitely help align it too so um also the night before you astral travel listening to a, a chakra cleanse or you can plan it way more ahead so you can plan okay next week i'm going to astral travel so i want to prepare my body for this you know sometimes people need more preparation then there's other people who can just do it right um another thing number four visualize the room you are in with great detail while your eyes are closed and you're meditating just visualize everything so like i said with the preparation just looking at your room wherever you're going to do it at make sure you just set a plan plan out um how you're going to do it and prepare don't just jump into it and then be upset because you're not there or you know it's very tedious it's very um it's a specific way that it needs to happen um and draw your awareness to your third eye that's for number four with visualization because when you are visualizing with your eyes closed and you can see it that means your third eye can see it so that's what's helping it number five explore the astral plane with um with curiosity um, without a motive or a certain plan, especially if it's your first time doing it, just be curious of what you're not saying, okay, I want to go to Venus. I want to go here. Like if you're, if this isn't your first time, then definitely do step by step. But if it's not, go ahead. You know what I mean? Um, over time, you'll be able to set plans on where you would like to travel. Um, so before you drop into astral, you know, before, um, oh my god sorry my mind over time you'll definitely be able to set plans on where you would like to travel before you drop into an astral projection right so you do it the first time and okay you've seen a little bit you felt a little bit but then as you keep doing it you're going to see more and feel more travel to more places you can also re uh, reach out to a master uh, um they call themselves masters and stuff i would never want nobody to call me master but they call them masters and you can look them up and you obviously have to pay for that type of experience but that's another way you can do it too if you can't do it by yourself um then number six return to your body when you are ready to come back and with that happening you are drawing your attention to your body so when you're outside of your body actually projecting now you want to get back to your body so you have to literally uh notice the the sensations of your bones or your fingers or where you're sitting or um, how you're breathing because it's just drawing you back to your body by you tapping into that energy that physical energy right so number oh with drawing yourself back to your body you can actually think or say this i call i call back my energy so with the last one is number seven wake up on <clears throat> wake up and reflect so take notes on what you experienced um reflect on where you could be next time or what how you like everything put in detail what you've experienced and then thank your guides for bringing you back to this plane right because they're helping you get out of your body then they're going to help you get back in your body so yeah that's what i'm hearing for you guys um i love you guys um oh before i say that you can definitely help activate your chi energy with yoga, gymnastics, um, and your app. You can also astral project using your sexual, your sacral chakra, um, and make sure that your sexual hygiene is balanced. So if you're having sex a lot, this may not be the best time for you to do that. Okay, 
you need to hone in on your own sexual energy make sure there's nothing inside of you cleanse your spirit do spiritual baths before you do any of this um but yeah that's what i'm hearing for you guys i love you guys and i'll see you in my next video peace